is in town tonight for a special viewing of his latest leading role in Black Adam. Dollars are not a gift, but a curse. Out of range. Dwayne Johnson is downtown to promote the newest installation in the DC Universe. Tonight's event marks the Canadian premiere of the movie, which won't hit theaters until next week. TV24's Lindsay Biscaya is live at the Cineplex's The Rec Room with the latest, and there is The Rock himself. Lindsay, what's it like down there? Yeah. Yeah, Scott, I mean, I figured we'd start with The Rock instead of me, because, like, why not? It's not every day you get to see this. Um, so he has been coming around on this red carpet at the rec room answering questions ahead of uh, Black Adam. Uh, the pre This is really a, a premiere of sorts for fans in Toronto who are able to get tickets. They're going to head down to Scotiabank Theatre to actually watch the movie. Um, but... He's right behind me right now, so it's pretty it's pretty cool to see him in the flesh, um, to see him interacting with even uh, a lot of the reporters here, many of which are incredible fans as well. Um, so he was talking a little bit more about his character, this movie. It's It's been uh, much anticipated by a lot of fans of the DC world, and he was talking about the passion that went into this uh, on his part, but also I asked him, you know, was there pressure from fans and pressure, uh, did he feel pressure when it came to portraying this role? And he said that there was pressure, but really he, he just wanted to um, bring what you see in the comics to life. He says that, you know, this character's been around for a long time, uh, but has not been on TV screens, and he says that's because uh, of the character itself, that um, it's that he's quite violent, uh, but he said that he's really excited to bring all of that to life, to bring uh, the realistic parts of Black Adam to life, and, yeah, it's it's pretty exciting here. So this, uh, this has been dubbed uh, Black Adam Rocks Toronto, this event tonight, and uh, it really is just exciting for a lot of fans. Um, when we were speaking with them earlier, <laughs> and fans, like I said, fans, some of the fans of the reporters as well. Um, when we were speaking with them earlier, just talking a little bit more uh, about Black Adam and what it means for them to be here in Toronto. Um, you know, I just want, I want to see if I can maybe, if I can maybe just sneak in one last question. Um, sorry, would you mind? We're live right now, so I just want to ask you another question. If that's alright. Let's do it. I love yeah. being live. Well, I mean, I already talked to you about the character, but I, I do want to. What right. do you? What do you? Go downhill. Well, no, I this wanted to. Get fired. <laughs> this you is when we get real. Back live? Yeah, tell me. Okay, what does it mean for you to be in Toronto? Like, why did you want to do something like this, and and the connection that you have to the city? I wanted to put Toronto uh, into our cadence of cities around the world because I love Canada, but specifically I love Toronto, and I got a lot of connection here to Toronto. My dad was born not too far from here in Amherst, Nova Scotia. I got a lot of family in Amherst, a lot of family here in Toronto. My brother and sister live here in Toronto, and I'm going to see them later. I hope I'm going to see them later. I'm still waiting for him to contact me back. Um, so. I have that connection, and every time I come back to Canada, I played in the CFL, right, so there's a lot of connective tissue here, but every time I come back to Canada, every time I come back to Toronto, that love and that passion like I felt there on that stage, uh, that's very consistent, and that means something to me. Everybody's busy, and everybody's got a lot of stuff to do, everyone's got responsibilities and things like that, so for the fans to wait here since 5.30 in the morning, some since 7 in the morning, and to give me that kind of love. That means so much to me. So that's why I wanted to come back to Toronto. Are you surprised? Am I surprised? By all the love and the support by the fans here? It never gets old. I don't know if I, if I can honestly tell you I'm surprised. I can tell you with great assurity and honesty that I'm grateful for it. And I love it. And I love it. And I love Toronto back. And I love Canada back. It means a lot to me. And my dad's not here anymore, you know. I lost him a few years ago. So I think he'd be happy. I think he'd be proud that I was, you know, showing up here, running around, and showing my muscles off and saying silly things. Well, we're grateful to have you here. Thank, thank, you, thank you so, you so much. much. I appreciate it. Yeah, <laughs> thank you. Thank you. So that's Dwayne The Rock Johnson in the flesh. It was good to just kind of, you know, hear a little bit more about what this city means to him um, ahead of, again, this this event tonight where fans actually get a chance to watch Black Adam um, because, again, here in Canada, it's not in theaters until October 21st. So uh, quite a moment there, but I'll send it back to you now. And, Lindsay, he's a big guy, but standing next to him, uh, how big does he actually seem in person? <laughs>
yeah, he's big, and I'm not, you know, I'm, I I'm think I'm like 5'3", five, 5'4", five, so yes, he seems like a, a big guy. He's very much a, a star personality. I think as soon as he walks in the room, we're all kind of just jaws dropping. Uh, yeah, definitely has a big personality, too. Lindsay Biscaya, thanks so much for that. Appreciate it.